Hey, y'all, thanks so much for stopping by. Tonight, I've got a delicious baked white fish recipe for you. How many times have you ordered the baked white fish from your favorite cafeteria, Luby's, Wyatt's, or something like that? Comes out with that beautiful brown crust and white flaky center. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make that topping and introduce you to a delicious tasting fish. Now, wild caught Alaskan pollock, it comes skinless, boneless, in fillets, you can get it at Walmart. Best thing about it is wild caught, meaning it's healthier for you than farm raised fish. Now, if you've ever gone to Long John Silver's, this is the fish you get with fish and chips. Alaskan pollock is the most abundant fish in Alaska, coming from Alaska's Bering Sea. It's a well sought out fish because of its mild fishy taste and white flaky texture. Now once you thaw out the fillets, take some paper towels and pat them dry as best as possible. Then hit both sides with some kosher salt and coarse black pepper. Now the topping, it's a mayonnaise topping. Add the mayonnaise to the bowl. Then just give it a shot of lime juice and lemon pepper seasoning. Give that a stir, set that aside. Then take your baking dish, give it a shot of non-stick spray, lay your fillets in yonder on a single layer, top each fillet with your mayonnaise mixture. Perfect. All right, hit the breadcrumbs. You can use Italian, you can use plain. Also put some parsley on yonder and some water, about an eighth, uh, eighth of an inch thick, I would say. All right, then we're going to bake this at 350, 20, 25 minutes until that topping is thoroughly browned, then hit it with some melted butter. Serve it on top of some lemon pepper butter jasmine rice and enjoy. Guys, if you're not a fan of fish, give this one a try. I guarantee you, you will love the taste of this fish. The recipe and directions and tips is in the description box below this video. Click that show more button. It'll pull all that information up. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, bye-bye, y'all.